Mm. All right, what's up, y'all? Um, I got another deep top video for y'all, but this time it's going to be a bit more fun and quite obvious. Um, I'm currently in GTA Online, but um, I'm actually going to be telling you, telling y'all what vehicles are reliable to use and own in GTA Online. So let's just get right into it and hopefully I don't get kicked or logged out of the session because where I live at, a lot of people are using their internets and Wi-Fi and stuff, so it's kind of messing up um, my internet connection, so that's to be expected because I live near a lot of college kids and all, so, but that's irrelevant, but let's get right into it. I'm just going to tell you all the vehicles that I think, in my opinion, are reliable and that y'all can use. So let's actually start in the legendary motorsports site. Now, there's a lot of cars that I think that are extremely reliable for y'all to use. So let's start off with racing. And the first car I recommend, well, not recommend, but the first car that I think that's reliable for racing is the Gratia Tally. RSX. Now this is obviously a Ferrari. I think this is based off of the Roadster Ferrari. I have no damn clue. I don't know too much of my um cars. Uh, I am not going to read the descriptions because that's going to take way too damn long. Uh, those are all the selected colors, the vehicle stats, um, the trade price, and the buy it now price. So um, yeah. That's that's literally how much it is, and that's the trade price. So the RSX, that's the first reliable car I recommend for racing, because one, it's fast, and um, second, it has amazing downforce. And what I believe downforce is when it comes to cars is that it means that your car stays on the ground or it sticks to the ground. So if you was to do like a whole bunch of stunts. Or whatnot your car will actually stick to the ground somehow or I don't know but if y'all was to do certain start races on here it will have those big round tubes that y'all go through and every time y'all go in through those tubes your car gets like a sudden boost of speed and I believe that is due to the downforce so this car has amazing downforce, so when y'all go through tubes like that, your car gets a sudden boost of speed, which actually pushes you forward, which is actually quite nice. So, yeah, so this is the first car that's extremely reliable because of its speed, definitely. So the RSX, that's one. Um, you got some F1 cars, too. Um, there's another one here. Um, oh, oh. Uh, you obviously um, got the um, the Krieger. That's the um, that's its price. But yeah, this is this is another car that's reliable that y'all can use for racing. Um, the Emirates, definitely the Emirates because of its handling. It handles like an F1 car. So every time you turn, the car goes like that. So it literally handles like an F1 car. Definitely this one, the Emirates. Um, another car, the Neo. I definitely love the Neo. I recommend this car too, but, or, yeah, it, well, I kind of recommend it, but at the same time, it's just my opinion on cars that are reliable. You know, everyone has different personal preferences on what cars they can use. So, yeah. Um, the Deveste 8, definitely this car because of its because of its performance definitely and that's in the supercar class uh the gto yeah the gto the gto has amazing downforce like i mentioned earlier amazing performance amazing customization options it's in the sports car class and it's literally just under two mil <laughs> wow um the vapid click that's a good um muscle car to use so I know this is based off of a Ford since it's vapid. Um, yeah. 
uh, this is uh, this is for racing. This is for racing, not for like um, car shows or whatever. Uh, the Tesseract. Uh, I guess this car is somewhat reliable, but it's an electric supercar. Uh, let's take a look at the stats real quick. Yep, those are the stats. It's extremely fast, even for an electric car. So this is another reliable car that I recommend getting, or if you own it already, then that's cool. Um, I'm only looking at the cars that's fit for racing, and then I'm about to move on to the next category. Um, and um, I'm gonna tell y'all a few more cars that I'm probably not gonna show off to the, um, tonight because I either don't feel like it or Oh, yeah, the Pariah, that's another reliable car I recommend y'all get, or if y'all own already, that's cool. So I'm basically telling y'all that if y'all own any of the cars that I said, then that's cool. But if y'all don't have them, I recommend it because they are extremely reliable when it comes to racing. So that's basically what I'm doing. But this is racing. I'm about to get into the next category um, in a bit. But yeah, definitely the Pariah. That's extremely reliable. Um, another car. Uh, the Cheetah Classic. That's a sports classic car. That's that's extremely reliable for racing. Uh, the Wagner, definitely. The Turismo Classic, definitely. Uh, the Shotaro, hell yeah. Hakatu Drag, hell yeah. Uh, the X80 Proto, I currently have this car right now, so that's extremely reliable in my opinion, but you know, everyone has their own opinions, so this is just mine, so. And yeah, I think that's it. Oh, oh, and you got the, um, the Shafter V12. Yeah, the Shafter V12. So yeah, that car is also reliable. Um, let's see, wait, I think, I think there's more cars that are reliable, so let's come over here. Yeah, there's some more cars right here that are reliable. Um, oh, the Dominator ASP, this car is currently on sale right now. I already gotten the trade price for it already. I think, I think the original price for this, I think it was about like maybe 1.6 or 1.7 mil, but that's the trade price, and now it's currently on sale. This is another reliable muscle car I recommend y'all get, or if y'all own, then don't sell it. <clears throat> this muscle car is extremely competitive. Like, look at the speed, acceleration, the braking, including the handling. It's an amazing car. So for those of y'all who don't have it, I recommend grabbing it because I think today's the last day that it's on sale. So until the new event week comes tomorrow. So y'all better get this car when y'all have the chance to. So, yep, that's that's another reliable car. Um, uh, the Calico GTF, that's based off of the um, Toyota Silica. Um, that's another reliable car I recommend y'all get. The Dominator GTT, based off of a 60s Mustang. Quite nice. That's another car I recommend. And, and that I also think that's reliable. Um, there are other, some, there are other cars t here too. Uh, the Drift You'll Send Me, definitely, that's another reliable car. Um, for racing, and I highly recommend for some of y'all to get who don't own it. Uh, the Vagrant, definitely this car right here. It, it, it's more like a dune buggy, but it's really one of the fastest in the off-road class. So this car right here is definitely reliable, and I recommend y'all get it for those of you who don't have it. But that's an extremely reliable vehicle right there. Um, the Retinue Mark II, definitely, if y'all don't have that, I recommend getting it. Um, and that's the, that's the price. <clears throat> Those are the prices, so. Um, you also got the Gauntlet Hellfire, based off of the Dodge 
Challenger Hellcat. That's the price. I think the only downside of this car is the handling and the braking. So I, I technically don't recommend this car, but at the same time, it's hella fast. So that's the only good side about it. And the customization options of this car is really decent. So I somewhat recommend it, but at the same time, not really because of those handling flags. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all saw the middle finger <laughs> right there. That's how Rockstar is. Um, what other car? Uh, you got the Issy Sport. Now, I heard this car is actually pretty good when it comes to rally type races. Though, so this is more of a rally sport type car. So I don't really recommend this one, but it is extremely reliable in certain race tracks. Or in certain stunt races, so I suppose that one's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that's it for racing. Um, all right, I guess I guess that's it for racing. I guess now let's get into armor. Now, when it comes down to armor, this is extremely important. Especially if y'all was to be in free mode griefing or whatever the hell y'all are doing in GTA Online. Um, as far as armor vehicles go, I think there's only a few. Um, the first one is the Kanjali tank. This one came out with the Doomsday update. That's the trade price, literally just under 2.9 mil. And the real price is 3.9 mil, basically. But, um, but yeah, this is really one of the most powerful tanks in the game. It really is. I highly recommend y'all pick this tank up for those of y'all who don't have it. It's extremely armored. It's pretty fast for a tank. And it can suit a lot of people. I think it can suit two in the front i believe and i think two in the back oh yeah 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 it literally says how many people you can fit in it so basically all the vehicles i've shown y'all before it says in the top right corner of them how many people you can see so that's what's good about this tank specifically because it can suit four people and that's nice so yeah, I definitely recommend the Kanjali tank. I might end up getting this, but sadly they said that I need to own uh, a facility. So unfortunately I cannot buy it, but it's a very, very reliable tank. It's a very reliable tank. I highly recommend y'all get it. So that's the Kanjali. Um, oh. Another vehicle that's extremely uh, another vehicle that's extremely reliable is a flying motorcycle, the Oppressor Mark II. Now you also need a um, I think you also need oh wait oh yeah yeah you need a terabyte yeah you need a terabyte but um it doesn't say where you can store it so i'm assuming you could store it anywhere i guess i have no freaking clue but this is a griefer type vehicle this is this is bikes that you see all over the damn map just flying around griefing people i hate this bike but i don't hate it if i own it if i own it i'm not gonna hate it because one it can fly it has a rocket boost shoots missiles machine guns and like i said it can fly it can really get you from point a to point b real quick just like the deluxo so oh and plus that's another reliable um vehicle too the deluxo definitely get that car too because that's also reliable but yeah the oppressor mark ii that's an extremely reliable um flying bike even though it's a griefer tool but hey, it's it's GTA Online. Every everyone can do whatever the hell they want. 
So the Kanjali, the Oppressor Mark II, the Deluxo, Deluxo, that's extremely reliable. Um, let's see, the Akula. The Akula is an amazing helicopter. It can obviously go into stealth mode and it can seat four people, which is quite nice. So if y'all want to go off the grid, or go off map or whatever, or go off the radar or whatever the hell it is, use this helicopter right here. And it can really just take you off the map so that way no one can see where you're at. So that way you can get from point A to point B real, real quick. The only thing is that you can't use your, you obviously can't use your weapons in stealth mode, obviously, so. But at least you're getting to places more passively, which is quite nice so that's a reliable helicopter that i recommend y'all get uh, whew, excuse me just sneezed um let's see uh the hunter i was about to say that this was another reliable helicopter but not really when you really think about it but at the same time it's cool it's a cool helicopter it's been almost all of the GTA games, so oh, I said almost because because I believe in GTA 3, the Hunter is in that game. You just have to get it through a mod menu. So <laughs> and and I think it's also in GTA Liberty City Stories, but you have to do like a method or something or some sort of cheat code during one particular mission in order to get this helicopter to spawn in but that's in that game but y'all can look it up on youtube or on here on youtube so that way it can show you how to get it but yeah but the hunter in this is quite nice but it's so damn pricey though as expected as all the other vehicles are they're pretty damn pricey so i i guess i could say the hell so I guess I can say the Hunter is quite reliable, but at the same time, not really. So, I guess the Hunter is not really reliable. I guess I just recommend some of you to get it because it's a, it's really an amazing helicopter and it's a classic too. So, uh, let's see, any other? Oh, the Night Shark. The Night Shark is actually a pretty decent truck. Now, it only has machine guns, so, but you can put a lot of armor on this, which is quite nice, and it's fast, so, yeah, so definitely get this car when y'all get the chance to, well, not car, it's a truck, so, get this when y'all get the chance to, or if any of y'all had the Night Shark already, then make sure you keep it, don't sell it, but for those of y'all who don't have it, get it, because I recommend it, because, yeah, it's armored. Can't say no to a very armored vehicle. Uh, the heavy APC, definitely get that because that has a lot of armor up into it. And it's also aquatic too. So that means it can actually go on water, which is actually quite nice. And it can seat four people. So nice. I already unlocked the trade price for it. So I might get this. I might get this. So... It doesn't say it doesn't say where I can store it because it usually says it right below the description, but it doesn't say not, nothing about me storing it anywhere specific. So I might get this someday if I feel like it. But yeah, that's another reliable vehicle I recommend y'all get. I guess that's considered as an APC tank, basically. So yeah. So any other off-road vehicles? Oh, the Insurgent. <clears throat> now, everyone loves the Insurgent, especially the pickup. You can obviously convert it into the pickup custom that has more, that has actual customization. And it actually becomes your personal vehicle. So, but unless if you're like a CEO or something, you might be able to get this truck for free. But I think you might have to actually purchase it and then once you apply or sign in as a CEO or whatever, you can actually call it in for free, which is which is actually pretty cool. But um, but yeah, but this is a really a must have and a reliable truck 
to to have. So for those of y'all who don't have it, please get it. Uh, let's see. I would say the Phantom Wedge because I own this truck because of its wedge. But at the same time, you can easily get blown up with just a single rocket or a sticky bomb. So I guess I guess I guess me personal for me, this is a reliable truck for me because I just like to plow people out of the way. Wedge. <laughs> so that's just me personally. Uh, the Ruiner 2000, I love the Ruiner 2000. Some people hate it because, because, because it doesn't really have what the Deluxo and the Oppressor Mark II has. It's because they both can fly. This car right here only has the ability to jump, and it has a parachute option. Like you can see on the roof, it has a bit of a hatch door right there, which a parachute comes out. So if you want to parachute or if you was to jump from a large or a tall mountain or building, you can pull out the parachute and you can just glide through the sky until you hit the ground. But to me, the Runer 2000 is a reliable car for me. So, so this doesn't apply to y'all unless if you want the Runer 2000. That's literally how much the car is. I bought the car literally full freaking price. So, hey. So, I guess I don't really count the Runa 2000 as reliable, but if some of y'all count it as reliable, then go right ahead and buy it if you want. If you have that type of money, <laughs> good luck with that. Um, the Hydra. I have this plane. The Hydra is an extreme classic. This plane was only in GTA San Andreas. And they came out with the heist update. It only fits one person, obviously, in the cockpit right there. So the Hydra is extremely reliable. It's obviously a jet. You can just fly around the map whenever you want. You can spawn it in through um, Pegasus, I believe. Or you can have it spawn right in front of you if you was to be like a CEO or an MC president, I believe. And this is just a very reliable jet. It has missiles, obviously. It has explosive cannons, which is cool. And this is also a griefing vehicle. So, just like the Oppressor Mark II, the Hydra is also a griefing plane. Or, or a griefing vehicle. So, y'all see jets in online sessions like this. This and the Laser. The Laser is another jet similar to this but it doesn't have the vertical takeoff it's just a normal plane but but those two but those two planes this and the laser i think it's also on this site but this one and the laser are also griefing vehicles so but uh yeah but yeah but the hydra is extremely reliable so um the duke of death that's a reliable muscle car. You can actually race with this car, to be honest, and it's free because I think it's for people who transfer their accounts from PS3 to PS4 and 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 same thing on Xbox. But um, yeah, you can race with this, and the Duke of Death has amazing armor. It really does. I believe it can take at least like maybe six seven rockets or seven or or eight sticky bombs i believe it's pretty explosive resilient but but i believe after many 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 explosives you are going to end up pulling up eventually but the duke of death is extremely reliable and i highly recommend getting it for those of you who might want it or for those of you who do have it that's cool don't get rid of it Maybe you can just have it in your garage to just show it off or whatever. The Buzzard, definitely the Buzzard. The Buzzard is, it is extremely reliable. It can obviously help you get from point A to point B. Um, it can obviously help you do certain missions or certain situations in online sessions. So definitely the Buzzard. I recommend getting that for those of you who don't have it. Uh... And 
that is it for the um for the armored type vehicles and or aerial type vehicles um i guess you can uh i i guess the cargo bob is also pretty reliable and it can fit 10 people and there's a similar cargo bob right here the jet sam and the army one they both can fit 10 people which is crazy um this one's just under two mil and this one is just literally eight is literally 1.8 mil <laughs> wow what a really price difference right there um i think the uh, i think the laser should be on here too oh oh the laser the laser right here this is literally the most expensive jet they made it 6.5 mil so if anyone has that type of money you can purchase this plane or you can go to the military base in game and steal this plane for free but sadly you can't store it in your hangar because because it tells you that you have to buy it online which really is the suckish part why can't you just steal something from an airport or a base or whatever and store it in your hangar without even purchasing it? I don't get that, but I guess I guess whatever rules they have in place, I guess that kind of makes sense. But yeah, the laser jet is also pretty reliable alongside with the Hydra. This is the jet that does not have the vertical takeoff. It just takes off like a normal plane or a normal jet. So yeah, that plane is so this plane right here is also reliable, but also a griefing tool. So, um, and I think that's it. If there are any vehicles that I missed, then y'all can let me know down below, or y'all can let me know if there are any vehicles that y'all think that are reliable and that you recommend for people to get so if y'all have any ideas on certain vehicles y'all can let me know down below if not then it's cool i won't i won't bug about it but that's all i got for y'all tonight hopefully y'all enjoyed it make sure you like if you did subscribe if any of y'all are new and um i'll see y'all in the next one all right